and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, today's video is actually something that is highly requested and very, very interesting. I'm sure a lot of you are going to benefit from it. You know, if I had to describe myself in three words, I would probably say that I'm very talkative, I'm very positive, and I'm very outgoing. I love going outside, I love meeting new people, I love going to new places and among you know all of these three things, juggling my time and managing my time can become a real task, you know, whether it's handling my social life, whether it's doing college related assignments or whether it's doing any work related task. And over time, I've discovered a few time management tricks and that's why in today's video, I decided to share all of these different time management hacks with you guys. And I really hope that it's helpful for you too. If you're new here, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I think without waiting too much, let's just get right into the video. Tip number one, write to-do lists and segregate your time. I have always stressed on the importance of to-do lists and it is honestly my favorite productivity hack, you know. When I say write to-do lists, I basically mean that on a piece of paper or on your laptop or on your phone, just somewhere record whatever tasks you have to finish in a day or tasks that you really hope to finish in a day, okay? And there is honestly no point of these to-do lists. You know, a lot of times we make these to-do lists and then we're like, okay, now what to do? But there's no point of these to-do lists if you don't segregate your time. Let me explain it to you with the help of an example. Let's say you made a to-do list and one of your tasks is completing a certain college project, okay? Now you've written that on your to-do list. Now next to that particular task, okay, write down a certain time frame, okay? Let's say you've written 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. So from your day, you basically segregated your time now and from your day, you've allotted two hours to that particular task, okay? So you blocked two hours of your day for that particular task, okay? Now this is what I mean when I say segregate your time. This basically means to divide your to-do lists according to different time slots. This is way more helpful than it sounds and it will really take you a long way. So make sure that whenever you write your to-do lists, you also segregate your time and your tasks accordingly. Tip number two, learn to prioritize. I know that we all keep hearing the term prioritize, 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 but yeah, how do you do it? I'll explain it to you today. It's a very basic principle and you'll be able to master this only with practice. Now, what do I mean when I say prioritize? Again, I'll explain it to you with the help of an example. Let's say you have to complete three tasks, okay? The first one is a college-related assignment. The second one is probably updating your finances and the third one is editing a video. Now, let's keep in mind what are the overall deadlines, okay, of each of these tasks, okay? Now, updating your finances, let's say you have to do it immediately because you need to send it to your accountant, okay? Let's say the video needs to be edited by tonight because you have to post it tonight. And let's say the third task, which is the college-related assignment, you have to submit that tomorrow, okay? So now if we consider the overall deadlines of each task and place them according to importance, the first thing that you should be doing is updating your finances. The second thing is editing the video. And the third thing is the college-related assignment, okay? So prioritizing means nothing but basically placing these tasks, okay, in your schedule Keeping in mind the overall deadlines, okay? I understood the overall deadlines of each of my tasks and then I placed them according to importance. Basis, what I need to complete immediately. So obviously, whatever you need to complete immediately, you put that first. Whatever can be done slightly later, you put that second. And whatever can be done even more later, okay? Whatever can be delayed even more, you place that third. So prioritizing is nothing but this. Tip number three, make use of travel time. Now, this is a very personal tip because I use it literally all the time, okay? Now, whenever you're traveling somewhere, okay, whether it's for work or whether you're going for a social event, whether you're going to office, whatever it is, you always have these 20 to 30 minutes to yourself where you're not really doing anything, okay? Especially when you're traveling alone. So, instead of whiling away that time, instead of just being on social media, do a small task, okay? Use that travel time effectively and a lot of small tasks of your day to those 20 to 30 minutes, you know? Whenever you're traveling alone again or whenever you're going somewhere, you know, that's probably far away, you have a lot of time and you have fewer distractions. Plus, you have that personal space, you know, so use that time effectively and you're good to go. Tip number four, use the reward system. Now, whenever you have to, you know, manage your time well, it's very important to get that motivation to complete all your work and to complete all your tasks. And 90% of the time, we look for that motivation outside. But the truth is that the motivation lies within you, okay? 
So a very effective way in which I like to motivate myself is by using the reward system. Again, I'll explain it to you with the help of an example. Let's say you have to read a book, okay? And you're not an avid reader, okay? You have to read a book, that's one of your tasks. So instead of forcing yourself to read the book, tell yourself that for every chapter that I finish reading, or for, or for you know, every X number of pages that I finish reading, I'll give myself a reward. The reward can be anything. It can be like, you know, probably treating yourself to something. It can be watching Netflix for longer. It can be sleeping for longer in the morning. Absolutely anything, okay? Motivate yourself in that way. Tell yourself that for every task that I finish, or if I finish a certain number of tasks in a certain number of hours, then I'm going to give myself a reward. I know that it might sound silly when I say it, but when you actually put it to use and, you know, make it a part of your daily life, you will automatically be able to manage your time very well and you will automatically be, you know, a little motivated to do the task in a better way. Tip number five, avoid multitasking. Now, a lot of times, you know, we're not able to manage our time well because our mind is always running in too many directions. We're thinking about too many things at once and that honestly becomes a difficulty sometimes. So make sure to avoid multitasking, okay? When I say that, I mean that at one given point, try to focus on one task only. So if you're outside with your friends, then focus on that completely, okay? If you're working, then make sure that you're doing that perfectly without any distractions. I know that, you know, being a student or being in college, this is much easier said than done because we always have so much going on in our head. But try to push it and try to avoid multitasking as much as you can because been there, done that, you know. There was a point when I had too much on my plate without realizing and, you know, I was always trying to balance everything out. But the moment I started focusing on one thing at a time, I was able to manage my time in the best way possible. So try to avoid multitasking in order to manage your time perfectly. Tip number six, coordinate between your tasks and your outings. What do I mean when I say that? Let's say on one particular day, you need to go somewhere outside, okay? It's a social event. You know you're going to get physically drained. So on those days, give yourself fewer tasks, okay? Don't burden yourself with too much. Guys, remember at the end of the day, you're human, okay? If you know that you have to go outside, you know that you're going to get physically drained, plus you force yourself to do a lot of stuff on that day, then you might not end up doing anything and it might affect you unnecessarily. So coordinate between your tasks and your outings. On days when you're going to be at home and you know you know that you have a lot of free time and you know that you don't exactly need to go outside a lot, on those days, give yourself more tasks and ask yourself to work for longer hours, okay? This is very important because this will keep you fresh, it will keep you more productive and it will also allow you to take breaks very well and taking breaks, we all know how important it is in order to induce your productivity. So that's it for today, guys. I really hope this video was helpful for all of you. If you like the type of content I create, if you like learning more about, you know, careers, academics, personal development, student life, education and so on, then please make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on my channel notifications. And if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you like it, make sure you share it with all your friends and family and leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon next week for another super informative piece of content. Till then, stay safe and take care. See you soon.